Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the 1,000 Pound Cider Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a cider. We're looking at a cider from Growers. This is Growers Pear, so it's a Perry, technically. 5% alcohol, it says here, sparkling flavored cider, alcoholic beverage. Um, one second, I need the flashlight. Orchard Goodness Cider is what it says here. Now, I really am glad I read that. There you go. Let's uh, circle over here before we drink this. This Orchard Goodness Cider. Questions? one 919 7587 GrowerCider.com Real good since 1927. Grutter Cider Company, P.O. Box 510, Niagara Falls, Ontario, L2E614. Uh, I've actually looked that up. That's just a warehouse. I don't. I have no clue where the grower cider is actually made. Um, ingredients, carbonated water, cider, glucose fructose, natural flavor, citric acid, ascorbic acid, potassium sorbate, and caramel. I don't see pear or apple anywhere on here. Unless it's under cider, but what's in your cider? So is your peri just apple cider with uh, natural pear flavors? What's going on here? How is this orchard fresh goodness, uh, what is it, orchard goodness, when you have one thing on here, carbonated water, that is really pretty much natural and everything else is a additive? I mean, citric acid can be natural, absorbic acid can be natural, uh, potassium sorbate could be natural, you don't have to actually create those, but you do have to fish them out and then use them. Uh, potassium sorbate would be a... The, well, the one good thing is I don't actually see any sulfites on here. Um, so that's a start. I wish I had my cell phone down here because we would actually call the question line. Um, I could wait and do a video with the cell phone. But there's going to be others, other growers products. You know there will be. Oh god, I have a shit brewing. Okay, let's get the light just to show you how clear this is, because this is pretty clear. Oh, it went on the strobe. Okay, bang. Boom! That is pretty fucking clear. Um, maybe a little bit of straw color, almost like a watered-down ginger ale. Lots of carbonation moving in there. Yeah. Yeah, the caramel is basically just in there as a coloring agent. And it did its job, it colored it slightly. And it smells like pear. It smells like nothing but pear. Like uh, over-ripened pear that you just squeezed and you had the pear juice just dripping down your hand. Because you didn't think it was, you didn't think it was as ripe as it was, so you picked it up and you squeezed it and it just started oozing. Kind of like when your wife touches your dick. Yeah, nothing but pear. Nothing but pear. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. Light bodied. Very sweet. Very pear. No sourness at all. Only bitterness, just a tiny bit of like a pear peel. And I mean, I find pear peel to be so soft that I almost get no tannins from it at all when I'm eating a pear. But I get a tiny touch of it, and I'm getting that tiny touch of it in the 
in the cider itself. But pear. Nothing but pear. Sweet pear. Slightly tannin, tannin filled uh, pear uh, skin. But really, it's just like drinking a liquid pear. The carbonation is there. But once you sip it, it's not actually as harsh as it looked like it would be. Other than the fact that carbonated water, which isn't natural because you have to carbonate it, is the only real ingredient in there other than the different uh, different acids that are there. One, one to hold together the, the fruit flavors, one to be a preservative, and um, one to give a slight tartness. Um, other than the fact that there doesn't seem to be anything natural in this, uh, and and I know, again, what we're talking about when we say natural is different. I'm being more the, the guy that wants his natural stuff to be natural, not just stuff that wasn't created. Um, if you have to farm it out of an animal and stuff like that, I don't particularly find that natural. Um... I know it is natural, and I don't disagree with you. I'm not saying that, oh my god, you're lying when you say natural flavoring. I'm just saying I don't personally find that natural. Why can't this cider just be pears? Why can't it be pears juiced and then back sweetened with pear juice? Why can't it be that? Why does it have to be all the stuff that it is? Um, and you obviously have a good filtration system. Look at, look at all this. You had to use caramel coloring to give any color to it. So why do you have to have all these... Uh, all these things in there being used as a preservative when things like Brickworks does not. Like, why Why do you have to do that when other companies doing the exact same thing as you without as good a filtration system don't? That's where I get confused. Uh, do I care about that when I go to my rating right now? Slightly. But do I? can I say anything bad about the taste of this? No, I can say I love it. I actually love it. I think it's one of the best parries I've ever had. Which is a sad, sad thing for me. <sighs> oh, a 10 on that parry? <sighs> Excuse me. Fucking 875. That's a great parry. Thank you guys. Bye.